Welcome back to the channel guys, it'll be much appreciated if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. Celtic star Jota has agreed terms with Saudi outfit Al Itihad according to reports. The Portuguese wing has been linked with a move away from Parkhead this summer, with manager Ange Postagoglu exiting the club for Tottenham Hotspur. Now reports in Saudi claim that Jota is close to a sensational move to join the likes of Karim Benzema and N'Golo Kante. News outlet Alka's channel, which is verified and has over 1.4 million followers on Twitter, has tweeted, The Saudi club Al Itihad has agreed with the Portuguese player Jota on all terms and the deals of a contract to join its ranks during the current summer transfer period and a few minor details remain with his club. The links come just days after midfielder Rao Hatate was linked with the club, but his agent has since knocked down the claims. Hatate was a standout for Celtic last term and would have been in the running for player of the season gongs if it wasn't for the goal scoring record of Kyogo. The 25 year old is currently contracted until the summer of 2026, so it would take a bumper offer for Celtic to sell one of their key men. Jota is currently contracted until 2027 at Celtic, so any transfer fee would need to be substantial for the hoops to part with a winger. Meanwhile, Celtic are continuing to pursue targets in Asia following the departure of Ange Postagoglu, but a move for South Korea midfielder Yang Hoyeon Jun appears to be in the balance. Yang has been quoted in South Korean media saying that he wants to sign for Celtic this summer, but his club Gang Won would rather wait until the end of the season, which finishes in October. Gang Won sit 11th in a 12 team K League One and would face a relegation playoff if they remain there. The players' representatives earlier claimed Yang had been promised he would get the chance to move if a European club came in for him and was frustrated at the club's stance. Celtic have achieved success over the past two seasons by recruiting in Asia, with Kyogo named PFA Scotland and Scotland's Football Writers Player of the Year last term. The striker was joined by several Japanese colleagues, including Maida, Hatate and Iwata, after Postogoglu arrived from Yokohama F. Marinos two years ago. Celtic also signed South Korean striker Hoyang Oi in January. New manager Brendan Rodgers is keen to continue the successful recruitment tactic along with the club's head of scouting and recruitment, Mark Law. Quoted in several newspapers, Rodgers said, Over the course of our discussions, I've seen the market we're in and how the recruitment has gone. Mark Law has a pipeline of players that are available and I think what he's done since he's come in has been really impressive and the markets he's been able to tap into, that will continue. That's where the club is at. Celtic fans, what do you make of this news? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video, guys. Make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for daily Celtic content. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.